Okay, so day number two in the battle between the critics and the users. Uh, the critics' ninth slot uh, album on album of the year is JPEG Mafia's All My Heroes Are Cornballs, and the user's ninth slot is uh, Black Midi Schlembing. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because it so far it's by far the worst album. Like, it's not a terrible album. Like, at least some of the production is pretty hype, and you like you can like bang your head to it. But like, I, even though I'm not a huge rock fan. Like, in a year that gave us, like, Myrtle Cap- Murder Capitals and Black Futures, how is this on the list and neither of those albums are? Like, the lyrics are, like, non-existent and the few that do exist aren't particularly interesting. Like, the only notable song on the entire album, in my opinion, is, like, She Walks With a Purpose, which is, like, just, like, a mock, like mocking someone who walks with a purpose, which... I don't really get <laughs> like and it'd be one thing if the production was like good but it's not particularly good it's noisy like it has enough polish where I can understand why it's on the list but of the albums I've listened to so far on the two lists it's pretty comfortably the worst like lyrically it's nothing the production there are some very well produced songs on the album I will give that like it, some of the songs do go really hard but they don't go hard enough where I actually care. So, for example, JPEG Mafia's album, uh, All My Heroes Are Cornballs, somehow manages to be both grimier and cleaner at the same time. Like, I, I don't even know how you can do that. Like, the production on the album is somehow both cleaner and dirtier in both the good ways than Black Midi album. Like, I, I know I'm not a huge rock fan, but there are far better rock albums that have come out this year who deserve to be on the list instead of that. Like, I, I'm not just, like, a hip-hop fan. And, like, it, it's not, like... See? Yeah. So, between the two, JPEG Mafia is definitely the stronger of the two. But, compared to the last two albums, this was kind of a letdown. <laughs> like, I, I listened to... Just as yesterday, I listened to both of the albums twice. But instead of coming back to either one of them... I just ended up going back to Eve. <laughs> like, I, JPEG Mafia's album is good, and given that it comes up later on the list, I'm going to listen to it again and compare it to the album that's at its tier. But, um, yeah, the production is solid. It's inspired enough, but it's pretty standard experimental hip-hop album. They have some. It has some really good, clever lines, Lyrically, it, it crushes Black Midi. It's not even a fair fight. Like, like lyrically, even though it's not as strong as, like, Eve or even Norman fucking Rockwell when it comes to lyrically, it actually has lyrics. So that kind of automatically makes it better than Black Midi. And, again, the production somehow manages to be both cleaner and dirtier than the Black Midi album. Like, it... But... Ultimately, I can't really say I enjoy it that much because it's kind of just a standard experimental hip hop album. Like, it's well produced. It's like it's a good album, but like honestly, of the four albums I've he- heard in this experiment so far, so far I've got Rhapsody, um, Lana Del Rey, JPEG Mafia, and then Black Midi in that order. Um, yeah, I listened to both the album. I listened to JPEG Mafia and uh, Black Midi. And t- two times like I did yesterday. And after I did the two times, I immediately went back to Eve by Rhapsody. Like, so far, it's, Eve by Rhapsody is pretty comfortably my favorite of the four. And Norman fucking Rockwell, I, I gotta give Norman fucking Rockwell over uh, JPEG Mafia. Like, it, JPEG Mafia album is a good album. It, it, I can see why it's on the list. But it's not an album I, like, I think I'm gonna return to it even less than Norman fucking Rockwell. So, um, but, uh, yeah. So in the battle of critics versus users, uh, critics going two for ze- two for uh, two and zero. Oh. Um, JPEG Mafia is definitely better than the Black Midi album, so uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, JPEG Mafia versus whoever uh, the users pit him up against. Uh, let's look at the list. He's coming up again later against uh, Richard Dawson. Have never heard of Richard Dawson, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that goes. But um. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, 
I will be doing uh, West Blood Titanic Rising for the eighth slot critic pick. And uh, Freddie Gibbs and uh, Madlib Bandana, or ban- Bandana, uh, I'm going to have to look at the pronunciation. But, um, yeah.